Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I want to show you this American Hornbeam. This is the one that I started working on. I was just going to let my hornbeams, you know, just develop into upright trees, but then I watched Tony from Tony's Bonsai so bravely and without falter wire up his tree. So today, I need to take the wire off, which Tony from Tony's Bonsai gave me the <laughs> courage to do. And I acknowledged it at the time. This one, I sent three different size, or three different gauge wires into the ground or into the pot, right to the bottom, and then wired up the heaviest one to a certain height, then the lighter one higher up the tree, and then the lightest one at the tip, just to get a kind of a swirling S-curve. And today I'm gonna to take the wire off. Maybe even slip pot this thing. It deserves, this is now gonna be known as um, my Tony's bonsai. <laughs> Not the one Tony grew, but the one he inspired. All right, I just went through my pot and I don't have, I mean, I got a lot of mica pots, but um, this is the only one that I have. This is the smallest drum pot that I have. So while the tree will be tall in the pot, it, it's, there isn't that much soil volume in here. So I think I can spread the roots out uh, and fit it into this pot. And uh, it won't be super credible, but it's the best I have. And I really wanted to do this today. So let me get some soil ready and get the pot prepared. All right, I got the pot prepared in terms of uh, screening in the bottom. Let me put a layer of soil on and set the side up, set Set the pot aside. All right, now I'm going to remove this from the pot. I expect the soil to fall off a bit. Okay, ah, this is another one of those where I put styrofoam at the bottom, which is gonna help me get a flat root base. I've got white root tips but I've got a big pot that they're going into. So I'm gonna try my best not to disturb them too much and just break away some of the soil. But before that, I'm gonna get a spray bottle and start cutting away the wire. All right, here we go. I just gave the roots a little bit of a spritz and I'm gonna cut the three wires just a little above the soil. I am gonna cut these wires away as opposed to trying to save them because A, they've probably been in just a scotch too long. And B, I do not want to disturb the tree all that much. So I'm gonna start with the smallest wire, work my way down. So I got the wire off, it has held its shape I have some significant wire bite 
There's some critters in here, not insidious ones. And I'm just gonna take off, since this is on styrofoam, I'm just gonna take off the top and try and pull it away from the styrofoam. I'm up potting this way more than I would have. And this is totally the wrong time to be doing this. I'm gonna try not to cut away much. The styrofoam, last time I did this, it was helpful that I had done the styrofoam. I don't know that I recommend it. It's a little bit scary. The roots do penetrate it, but it does help you have a flat root base. These critters are gonna come along with it. All I see is, I forget what you call them, those crustaceans, roly polies we used to call them, because they roll up when you touch them. And a few of those worms. I'm gonna leave the root ball as intact as possible. This is the last big piece of styrofoam. And it barely disturbed that. I'm gonna dump the dirt that's in this pot and come on back. You know, what the hell? There's only that much of the root ball left. I'm gonna try and salvage as much of these roots as possible, but I wanna lay them flat on this way too big pot. So I've moistened them. I'm gonna get myself some water to wash this off in and I'm gonna clean off the roots entirely. I'm taking a chance with this tree, Tony. All right, I've washed the roots. There are some that I would trim at this point, but I think under the circumstances, I'm only gonna trim what extends out of the pot And I'll even try to tuck those around. Might as well. Starting out with some bonsai soil right in the center of the pot which I'll press down and gently lift up the tree. Stain. With the tree leaning somewhat. Let me position it in the pot nicely. I'll probably be cutting off these two roots right here. All right, that's about the height in the pot that I want. Nobody does those bends like you, Tony. And I'm not trying to make it look like yours. Just trying to get the same level of fearlessness I think you told me in a comment one time, 
There's no place for fear in Bonsai. And I will try and remember that as long as I'm doing this. Now, I'm expecting that there will be some negative reaction to this repot. But I will watch this tree like a hawk. I'll give you guys updates on it periodically. I'm going to drown it. Right after this. That's all I wanted to do, Tony, today is send out a little tribute. Thank you for all that you've taught me. Thank you for giving me the courage to even do something like this. Not that it's such a monumental task, but it really went against the grain for me to bend trees so severely. That is until I saw the really good results you were getting. So this is pretty secure in the pot right now. I'm gonna to top off the soil, give it a water, and that'll be it for this. Thanks again, Tony. And thanks for keeping me company in my backyard.